Jojo and the Morning Family, welcome back to the Favor of God Week. Hope you're ready for today because I got some good scriptures that I want to share with you. Some scriptures that, that I know are going to help you and encourage you. And to start off, I want to explain something to you. There's a lot of people that have not really stepped fully into the, the, the sonship of the Lord. And a lot of times, right before the favor of God is about to overtake your life, people pull, pull back and they're like, I'm just not worthy of this. You know, I'm just not, you know, I just don't think I really deserve it, all of this. Let me tell you something. The problem with that type of thinking is it's not about you. There is a world out there that we're supposed to help, that we're going to encourage, that we're going to minister to. You receive everything God has for you. And when you receive that, you're going to be able to bless so many other people. You know, it is God's good heart to take care of every one of your needs, your wants. He wants your mind free. You, you can't find people who are always worried about, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do this? Oh my goodness. And is always worried about everything. You know, they got anxiety. They're not going to go out there and help the kingdom of God's mission. God wants your mind free so you can walk in the extreme favor of God to impact a lost, hurt, and dying world that is around us. And one of the best things you can do is die to the flesh, live in the spirit, and lose your opinion of yourself. A lot of people, they think too highly of their self or they think too low of their self. Just don't really think about you, okay? You know, and in saying that, one thing I do is every morning I get up and I pray. I eat a good breakfast. I work out, do my cardio, do my, my weight lifting. Why? Because this is the only body I got. And I'm going to take care of it. I'm go Listen, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, okay? I got to take care of my temple. You know why? The Spirit's willing, flesh is weak. You ever seen somebody who's in bad health? And they got a prophetic word, but they just don't feel like doing it. No, no, you need to make sure you're in the right place to move and operate in the favor of God. All right, all right, let's get into this. James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above. I knew it. I knew it. I knew my wife was an angel. I knew it the whole time. This scripture proves it. Every good and perfect gift is from above. And so let's say that, that we were, I saw you and I blessed you and I gave you $500. Who blessed you? Did I bless you? Not really. God blessed you. You got to understand this. Whenever you receive something, it is from the Lord. I mean, you go to the doctor and they give you something to help you. Yeah, the doctor subscribed it because they got wisdom and knowledge and some stuff. But ultimately, maybe the Lord called them to go for such a time as that. Listen, I think every good and perfect thing comes from the Lord. Like, the, in Texas, Canada, there, there, there's a few restaurants that I really like. I know somebody heard the Lord to put those in there. We got a lot of coffee shops. You know the Lord's moving in our city, okay? And so every, every good and perfect gift comes from above, okay? Don't look at people to ever be your resource. I'm just going to tell you something. Your job is not your resource. God is your resource. I've had businesses that exploded, and I thought that was my resource. It went down. I remember one time um, my wife and I, we had nine season tickets for the Dallas Cowboys, which was 90 tickets a year because you get 10 games per, per seat, um, two preseason, eight regular season. And so we, we had 90 tickets a year. And then the platform that we sold them on, you know, they quit giving power to the seller and they gave power to the buyer. So people would buy tickets and say, oh, I didn't ever receive them. And then they get their money back. And then, of course, they would go to the game. But you know, even when I was making finances, you know, selling tickets, I, I never looked at that as my source. That business dried up, okay? It dried up. So 
I went and sold my tickets, um, my, my rights back to the Cowboys. And I've had other businesses that exploded and then went back. Ministries that exploded and, and then the Lord said, that season's over. You got to understand something. I don't care if you've been at your job 30 years. That job is not your source. God's your source. You could lose a job in any day. You can't lose God. Okay? Please hear that. Okay. 1 Samuel 2 and 26. I love this scripture. And the child Samuel grew in stature and in favor both with the Lord and men. I, this is how I say, I say every single day. I say Jojo Dawson will grow with favor today with God and with men. I'm going to walk in favor. God's going to show me favor. People are going to show me favor. You'll see somebody walks in favor. My wife walks in favor. I mean, she walks in favor. My kids walk in favor. My kids, they walk in so much favor, it's crazy. But their heart is right before God. My, my kids can just walk in a place that... I, they can walk into a conference that is jam-packed and somehow they'll get up at the very front. Somebody saved them a seat. Just something. Just the favor is on their life. And when you're walking with God, it, listen to me. Some of y'all are going to disagree, but I don't even care. It is not wrong for you to expect the favor of God. My kids, when they walk in the house, they just expect there's going to be food in the fridge. Okay. That's just, that's just how it is. I expect to walk in the favor because I don't use the favor of God on my life for selfish reasons. I use the favor of God to benefit others. I'm the type of guy, I love networking. And if, if I find a good resource somewhere, I'm going to go share that resource with everybody. Like... I found a phenomenal resource and a powerful woman of God on writing books. She does book facilitation. I share that resource with everybody because we've done so many books through her. I go out and I promote that. You know, when I find something and the favor of God is on my life, I want to share that with other people. Okay? I love investing, and I got a bunch of friends that invest, and if I get into a stock or crypto that he's really doing good, I will tell people about it. Okay, why? Because, like, I've even had the Lord in early morning prayer give me symbols, and I don't even know what they are, and I go look them up, buy it, and that stock or crypto explodes. And I got the, and so I call my friends, say, I don't know much about this stock, but the Lord gave it to me in prayer. Okay? You expect the favor of God to be upon your life. You expect the favor of man to be upon your life. When God finds the right people, he will bless them in great and extraordinary ways. Now, we never expect the favor of God for us to be arrogant. We use it to bless people and to be a sign to other people that you can have what I have if you're willing to lay down your life for the Lord, if, if you're willing to walk in the things that God has for you, if you're willing to repent, love God, serve the Lord, be in there strong with them, God is always looking for people that he can pour his blessing out upon because God wants to do a powerful work in you so he can always do a powerful work through you. That's what the favor of God does. The favor of God makes life flow easy. All throughout the scriptures, if you really read the scriptures, it taught, yeah, it says, you know, that we'll have trials and tribulations in life, but also the scriptures talk a lot about just a flow to life, how things will just flow together for those that love him, that those things will just happen for the people of God. Because God needs you to be focused on the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. 
Most people can't focus first on the kingdom. Therefore, they're not receiving the favor of God. Psalms 5 and 12. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you surround him as with the shield. My friends, my friends, it does not get any plainer than that. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Now, this is something I've always prayed. God, your word says you bless the righteous. I don't feel like I'm walking in the extreme blessing right now, Lord, which means there's something in me that is keeping me from being righteous in your eyes. Show me what it is. I will repent. I will deal with it. I will do whatever I need to do. But I want to walk in the favor and the blessing of God. Show me, do I have a, a, a sin? Do I have um, something against somebody? Do I have hidden anger or rage? Do, do I have an addiction that I really didn't know is holding me back anything, God. Like, be radical in your prayers before the Lord. And it says, with favor, you will surround him as with the shield. Okay, you should be getting excited right now. The favor of God can wrap around you like a shield. So when the enemy tries to come in, whoop, it hit favor. You can't give me. I got favor, and it's wrapped around me like a shield. When you understand that, your life will shift, completely shift, okay? Guys, I hope that helped you today. Please send me a prayer request. Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Send me a prayer request. I want to pray for you because I want you to walk in the favor of God so you can be an effective witness to everybody around you. I don't want you worried about how you're going to pay your bills. I don't want you worried about a health issue. I don't want you worried about people coming against you. I want you to have your mind fixed on the Lord, your eyes fixed on the Lord. I want you to have your spirit man focused on heaven. This is a great season to be alive, and we're going to do some powerful things, okay? So I love you guys, and hope you have a blessed day.